In this mod review, we're going to be taking a look at the Scania style Argentine for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Scania uh, style Argentine mod for uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now this is for uh, the, well it says the Scania R is the one, so it says the second one in from what I could make out, because it's in a different language, uh, it says that it is for the second one. Now I noticed that it is available on most of the other trucks as well but the only one that really worked that I could see was the second one in now this is at the Scania dealer and as you can see where is it there it is there uh, we are in the in in Strasbourg is where we are so let's go into customized configuration and check it out instead of mucking around like I've been doing right so you can choose any of the cabins here the three cabins you've got uh, normal high line and top line see there's no difference though between those two so uh, I'm going to chuck this one on we'll leave it on there uh, then the chassis now you can go through and choose any of the other chassis in there as well so it's sort of an add-on really to to then you know taking away so it's pretty good but the six by the four by two is gone so Alright, well, yeah, it does take it away. It takes away the 4x2 if that was your favourite. So, Now, the engines that's in here is all your standard engines, ranging from 360 horsepower all the way up to 730. Your transmissions are all your standard transmissions with your 6-speed, 12-speeds, um, you know, all with retarder. And then we have the interior, which is the default interior from Scania. So you can see there's a lot of things that have been used from the Scania trucks. Uh, you got UK side and so left and right hand side, which is good. Uh, you've got your standard and exclusive as well. So uh, very, very good. Now off to the paint jobs. Now apart from your normal blues, whites, reds, greens, orange, uh, ivories and your custom colors which do actually work there we go uh, you can actually well you are meant to be able to choose the other ones as well but it looks like it's all screwed up as you can see we'll scroll down here to where is it there's your metallics now they're working fine and we'll have a look custom metallic there just to double check there we go, there's one colour, there's the second colour, and there is the third colour. Now, when we start getting to here, all of these are all messed up, as you can see, everything. Every single one, except for, you've got these. There you are, look, they're done properly. There's your carbon fibre, and see there's uh, other ones, the squares and circuit boards and fish scales smoke and all that they're all done nicely all right which is fine but the thing that look at this this is what bothers me see they're all messed up they're not working at all so and that's all of them it's not just some of them it's all of them are all messed up so hopefully that can get fixed because you know it really is nice to have these skins to be able to use them so uh, but anyway just thought I'd mention that that was a bit of a, a letdown for me to be honest I'm just gonna just choose that color there for now now off to the accessories now you've got it's good that you do have your standard bits and pieces that you normally have you've also got your tuning pack which is quite good so if you're right into your tuning pack which I know that a lot of people are then you can actually add in those and there's also one other little thing there as well so that's a sting for the um, grill guard and you can actually add on lights and stuff like that as well so yeah pretty cool but you can go and add in other bits and pieces as well and this is normally one here that just doesn't work but it works which is fine so that's just how it should be I'm gonna put on that the number plate uh, bull bars, they're all working fine, as you can see. 
then we go up to here's your if you do have the tuning pack installed and they're working fine then you've got yes we'll remove the badge then we've got um, your grill is working you can't use that if you use your grill uh, then we've got the see there you can paint it or paint it black or, or whatever stock I'll just leave it stock um, that's if you've got the tuning pack for it you can do all that so let's put that one on and the windshield put scanner on there over there so you can go through all those yeah light board at the back um, you can go and put on the griffin head or whatever uh, it's up to you front mount mirror and this one's working properly like I think the other day it wasn't uh, sun visor any of the standard sun visors that you normally would choose can go in here and uh, what am I going to choose today I'll just choose that one nice and simple uh, mirrors so there you go there's your painted mirrors uh, window trim you can add on whichever window trim you want if you have the um, the pack you know the DLC pack door trims so you know there's plenty to choose from and then you can paint your door handles um, what was that light board then there's the flag you can change your flag so just like you normally would with all your other mods you, you know that you can sorry you're all, you're all your other scania packs it's just standard everything's standard from here on in so now one thing I did notice is see how the light bar is flying above in the air that is if you have this I did that deliberately to show you that that's not been done correctly so that dot could have come down just a little bit more and the same with this as well for this one and it would have just fixed up both of those so um, done in blender or whatever other modeling program you use now um, that's pretty much standard we all know that so I'm just gonna leave that part there now there was one other thing here that I thought was quite interesting and you're not gonna be able to see it here is oh you might be able to see it there have a look over there and it there's a little sort of rubber flap there going going backwards don't know why that's there I think it's meant to be a mud flap dangling down but it is stuck to the bumper so that's that's weird but anyway uh, there is another one there as well that you can add on there and you might be able to see it now have a look there there we go and you see a little rubber bit added on there uh, other than that you know you got your steps there standard uh, standard wheels so you can go out add in your standard tires there and if you want to add in custom wheels here you can uh, like let's go and grab some chrome wheels today elite rider chrome and see how they're working problem uh, working properly the other time when we were looking at the Volvo ones they weren't working were they they were just all over the place and there's the hub which you can go down and choose you choose the scan your one and then over the back there we did second tire and we did elite elite where is it is it not there all oh, right okay so standard gloss just go standard gloss and then we'll go where is it scan your scan your hub and paint your nuts chrome and there we go all right that'll that'll do that's fine um, now we're off to the uh, accessories on the inside here now there's the mirrors there's the flags that is the GPS navigation then you've got the driver's plate the steering wheel it only allows you to choose the exclusive or standard there's your knobs you can add on there and then we have your uh, bug deflector on the front there then we've got the logo you've got up here you've got your dots which you can go and add in scania so relatively the same as what you normally would put in there you know so we just put michelin in there that'll do uh curtains if you want to add any of your curtains 
Uh, it's coming on to Christmas time, so you might want to add in your Christmas one soon. I know I will be. That's the only curtain I really use. Uh, sun visor. Then we have, you know, the Christmas gift as well. You can hang. It's nearly Christmas. Uh, there is the eight ball. The mirror. That is the co-driver's plate. Dash dots. Or you can add the table, which has, you can have heaps of dots on then. Uh, and I'm just going to put on, where is she? Hula hula. There we are. Like that hula girl. Uh, cup down there, which is coffee. Which actually coffee wouldn't be bad right now. Uh, feeling like I might need one very soon. Uh, then we have a bag you can add in there and your electronic cool box, which is an esky, is what we call here in Australia, mate. Uh, and then up the back there we have the the light board. There we go. So that's pretty much everything. Now uh, let's confirm this and we will go on the uh, outside. So we'll do a trade in. Let's confirm that and. There we go. See how long it takes to load. See if it crashes or anything else like that. Uh, some good news is as well that this also is meant to come with a trailer. So we'll be having a look at that very soon to see if it comes with a trailer. Now, it did take a little bit to load there. So a bit strange considering it's really just that little tray that's on the back there and the chassis has been stretched. And, but it looks good. I mean, look at the outside there. It looks very nice. It's a shame about those skins. It really is. You know, they would have uh, been really nice if they were working perfectly. See, so there we go. That looks nice. Sort of uh, make it just like one of those little trucks you can make a trip to the market with, isn't it? All right. Fix that up there. Fix that up there. And then we'll jump on the outside. And we should have the standard Scania sounds that we normally have in here. There we go. So standard Scania sounds. Uh, let's turn on the lights. We'll turn, try high beams. There we go. High beams are working. Left, right, and indicator. Yep, that's working. Spin around the back. We got brake. Uh, there we go, put it in the correct gear. And there's the indicator there, all working. So that's all good. Wipers. Wipers are working, very good. Horn. No horn. Oh, there we are. No air horn. But we have a standard horn, which is all, all good. There we go. Uh, I'll turn those uh, wipers off there. Now, uh, let's, what else have we got here on the outside? No beacons. Uh, no drop axles or anything like that. Uh, put the brake on so we don't roll away. Let's jump on the inside. So we have the wipers working on the inside. We've got lights working on the inside, which is all good. Uh, cross your fingers for display. There we go, it's working. Very good. Let's turn those wipers off. I thought I did turn them off, but anyway. So look, that seems to all be working fine, which is really good. Chuck it in a second, and uh, and let's go take it for a drive, shall we? Well, actually, what I'm going to do is let's go to the map, and let's have a look and see what trail if we can find that trailer that fits it. Ah, there we are. That's it there, Glasgow, Glasgow. Let's go to Glasgow. Oops, sorry. Get out of that. I didn't. So, oh, a few errors there, isn't there? Go to Glas. There's a few errors. Considering this is the only mod I have installed, this in the trailer. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is uh, how am I flying? Well, this is the dev console. So it's very easy to install and um, I'm pretty sure I'd, I've done a video on it a long time ago so all right so let's pick up a load there we go take job and let's see if we can hook it up properly and we'll test out how it drives too
Gee, this is ripping through the gears. All right, so there's our load. So that looks that looks good. That trailer. Not an Eaton Fuller. I keep thinking I'm driving an Eaton Fuller. <laughs> oh. There we go. Hitch it up. Uh, there we go. So that's what it looks like on the outside. I think that's actually quite nice. That looks really good. So let's uh, see. It's let's see how it handles. Those wheels look weird though. Looks like beaters or something. Egg beater. Oh well. Let's see how it drives. seems to be fine like so far I'm, I'm just going out of the lot here but it seems to be just like a normal uh, Scania and we've got trailer there that's angling as well so that's pretty good now let's quickly just jump over here uh, wait up mate you can hold on I'm going through And yeah, look, this is this is fine. Oh, there we go. So I mean, there's no real major problem with this this mod that I can see so far. There's the banana brake. Can you actually just turn that up just a fraction so you can hear it a bit better? Whoops. Jumped in the lane, didn't I? So look, it's yeah, it's fine. But guys, look, it's not up to me, it's up to you. So if you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. Punch that like button in the ass. And uh, that then the one the truck with the most likes will be the one that um, is the winner of the weekly drive so it's very simple as easy as that guys very simple uh, so make sure you get in there and vote because your vote counts guys if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out and while you're there why don't you hit that subscribe button but until next time don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and I'm 1010 on the side and remember game on